everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So, I worked on a different 922 yesterday. Unfortunately, at the end, I saw it needed a band switch because it has a bad 15 meter contact on one side of the main rotary switch that progressively shorts the output network coil coils. So, um, I had to order that. Rest of it's done. So, in the meantime, I'm going to work on this second one. This one needs a lot of work also. So I'm going to show you everything that I see off the bat. First off, plate current meter is shot. Let me start off with the customer said that he has no 240 outlet in his shack area. So he has a plug that he runs through the house to plug it in. And he had it on and he went to plug it in and he heard a pop. So had a mismatched set of tubes in it. He said, I have not looked at them yet, but I'm guessing one shorted. So it's going to get a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Um, so that's the story with that. And he said he popped the fuse, changed the fuse, and then went to try to key it and saw nothing coming out of it. So uh, if you pop the fuse, just stop. Don't, don't change it. Never just change the fuse until you know why the fuse popped. Okay, so plate current meter. Let me talk about that. So the two meters in this amp, they're both the same internally. So luckily I have a couple extra multimeters. I'm going to take this out of the assembly here and then swap the um, backing plates from the old one and reinstall it. It is a pain to get it out. So I'll take the side panel off. This whole assembly needs to come out. It's like a metal frame assembly. It's just a pain. So, um, then I've put it all back together. Okay, so, someone changed the filter caps. I disconnected the uh, secondary leads from the rectifier. Uh, I'm sorry, not from the rectifier, from the filter caps. And uh, I wanted to make sure that the filament transformer was okay. I didn't feel comfortable turning it on with these caps connected. Someone changed them, put in snap, look like snap in style, and they reuse the old resistors. I, I can't leave it like that. So I'm going to put in a brand new Harbach filter cap board kit in here with brand new Kemet capacitors. In the last should last my lifetime, customer's lifetime. Um, great capacitor. So there's that. Um, I'm going to fix the solder connections and the board has to come out anyway. So it's very tedious. I'm going to check all these resistor values. Someone changed the, the shunt resistor. I'll make sure that's all correct. So, you have some tarnish on the coil. I'll leave that be. Fan makes noise. The Baron's loud. I don't have the fan in stock. I had to order that, and I had to order meter lamps. One lamp is out. So, if I can get this done today, I'll still test it even with the loud fan. I'm just waiting on those two things. Got to keep things rolling, or I run out of room. So, these, bre these tabs were broken already. Um... So he had the, the feet attached to the air underneath here and here and back too. So you can get these panels if you have one with broken tabs. This happens a lot. They break. You can either epoxy them back together or uh, just you can buy new panels. You know, they, I mean, used panels on eBay. They're usually like 100 bucks or so for a set. They come right off four bolts. So this socket was severely overheated. So I'm going to swap this socket out. That's probably the tube that flashed over there. The grid choke is, is damaged over there. So, um, but yeah, it's really bad. You can see what it should look like compared to what it looks like. I'm not even going to take a chance. I'm just going to swap it out. I have these sockets here. Um, needs new SO239s. Uh, the center tap choke got really hot, but looks like it's okay. So, um, band switch. Looks okay, but I'm going to check it over again really well this time. I need a really bright flashlight. So, change this cap here. I don't know what's going on with the heat shrink. Someone, I'm going to look at it closer. I don't know if someone changed the film transformer at some point or the power switch, but I'll figure that out. But turns on, everything else works. So, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm going to look at it, make sure it looks okay, and then leave it alone beyond that. Uh, grind the grids, do the uh, self-bias mod, put a meter protection diode in, the low inductance mod. This has 10 meters stock. It's the more, more desirable unit. 
Um, so these are great amps. Great, great amps. They, they sell for a lot of money. They're very desirable. And um, like I said, these side panels can be purchased. I mean, you find all these, they, these parts online. So, you know, if you have a cosmetic issue, not a big deal. It's, you know, this thing is stock with the relays and everything. No one's done anything crazy to it other than the filter cap. So this was given to the customer a long while back, and he really wants it to be brought back to life. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, that's about it. So please stay tuned, and I will see you guys soon. Here's the Harbach board, the Chemic Caps. And yes, always use these diodes, because I'll say it again. If you ever have a diode string short, which I haven't checked those yet, um, because the uh, secondary is disconnected, you got to make sure th none of those are damaged. But you will pump raw IC into the caps, and these will protect caps. So these are a lot cheaper than caps. So don't ever leave these out when you go to put the kit together. The diodes, the resistors, the board, screws. And uh, the tab. So, right, so I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. So I have the filter cap block assembled and installed. Remember, I always put some GE Type 2 clear silicone between, just dabs between the spacers and the caps. I just put them on the cap and then just place the spacer. It just, uh, and also on the plastic piece on the top and the bottom. And, um, you know, just to keep them from sliding out, because I've seen where they've slid out, even, you know, stock ones. So it's just, just a teeny bit, less is more, you know, just, let's watch it look. Okay, so, now I'm going to tackle the uh, meter issue. I have another board here, I'm going to swap the other one out with. So, nice and clean. And I checked all the diodes on the rectifier board. They are all good. No issues there. Okay, so I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. Just to give you guys an idea of how difficult it is to get this meter out. There's the old board. This one's roasted. So, you know, well, I have to take the front panel off. From cover off now I have to go out to the garage and get socket extension and all that to get the, the nuts out for the studs to take the meter out so I will uh, I'll be back stay tuned fun fun <laughs> this one's a challenge but I'm up for it see you soon okay so this is how I do it I removed the terminal strip with the uh, series dropping resistors for the meter lamps and the indicator lamps over here. Left all the wires connected. Disconnected the leads off the back of the meter movement. So, someone's had this out before the nuts came right off. Uh, so, usually there's this little like green goop they put on there. Acts like a like a, a thread lock slash I guess indicator to show if it's been messed with. So now I'm going to take the, flat, you know, pop the bezel off, remove these two screws, remove the backing plate, and swap it over to the other meter and reinstall all of it. So that dot, uh, just a simple diode, uh, like a 1N5408 between the B negative and the chassis would have saved all of this work from all this work. You know, that's why all modern, actually most modern amps have that. Protection. It's just so critical. Just one diode save you from all this. And this guy had some. I'm guessing he had multiple catastrophic failures. So obviously, because he changed the meter, because that's how the board got all messed up. I've never seen one like that before. So, all right. So I'm gonna get back to work. And lots of pictures. I take lots and lots of pictures because there are a lot of wires. There are a lot of screws. It's mayhem. But so if you ever get to this point you need this done call me do not if you bring it to someone else you try to do it yourself and then it turns into a headache don't call me because I'm not going to be the savior with this type of thing it could just turn into a major headache even worse than it already has to be okay I will see you guys soon stay tuned okay so I got the old switch out 
the ones in. So what I did was I loosened, I took the plate off, the screws out. Unfortunately, you can't take it out from the front. So um, I cut each wire, wrote down what, where each one went, cut each wire, and carefully brought the switch over here, out the side. It's difficult, but I got it out. Um, and I pulled one wire out at a time, used a razor blade, carefully stripped each one. Insulation had a little spot on it on one of them, so I put a piece of heat shrink over for a extra insulation. Insulation, I'm sorry. And uh, added the jumpers while the switch was out. See, they're all jumped in parallel. <clears throat> and um, now I'm going to re-secure the switch. Put the plate back on and all that, and uh, double check everything, make sure there are no wires that are damaged or touching something they shouldn't and uh, put the front panel back on, all the knobs back on and the tubes back in and try it again. See you guys soon. Okay, I'm back with the completed TL922. Customer wants to see it working on 3.935. There are the settings. They usually don't line up. I've said this before. They usually are like right in the middle in this area. So, um, you know, for 160 and 80, but the other bands line up. Let's do with the padding capacitance value they used. Okay, so it's on the lower voltage setting. It's on grid current, roughly 70 watts or so, 2,500 watt slug. Bird PEP kit is on, going into a bird dummy load. This is a genuine bird meter, genuine bird PEP kit. Amp, audio hello, it's on lower voltage setting, that's about 900, tit, 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 tit. hello, 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 audio hello, 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 higher voltage setting, tit, tit, tit. audio hello, 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 audio hello, 1250, here over 1250, tit, 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 tit. hello, 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 RF, audio hello, 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 voltage, tit, 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 tit. hello, 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 tit, 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 tit. Hello, 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 hello. Works as it should. I already tested 160 and 80 now, so I'm going to go up to 10 meters. And if everything's good, I'll show you the inside. See you guys soon. Okay, so we're back with the completed TL922. I'm going to try to keep this short to save my voice. So this was given to my customer by somebody, and the previous owner did a lot of cruddy repairs to it, but I went through the entire thing. Now it's good to go. So, um, the metering board was totally messed up. Someone had all sorts of uh, shorts they were putting on the plate supply, damage traces and stuff. I've never seen it this bad. Um, put the uh, new board in. It's all done up nice, nice. It had a lot of bad solder joints from the previous repair, or repairs, I should say. It has a Hardbach filter cap board kit that I assembled and installed. Series glitch resistor, now it has a meter protection diode. Plate current meter was shot, it was open, so I replaced that. Okay, so I added the strap over here, got the brand new fan, the old fan, the bearings were going bad, so swapped it out. You always want to make sure you get the right fan. Okay, so I will uh, flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. So I'm back with the bottom here. So you saw that I changed the switch, the CW slash SSB switch, it switches between the two secondary taps. Someone changed the power switch, and I touched up on all the solder joints, did a horrible job. So I was wondering about this heat shrink, there's one on these two yellow wires. The insulation on the wire is fine, I'm thinking he added it when he changed the switch, thinking you could slip it over the co connection point on the switch. So I left them be, because uh, I didn't unsolder the leads from the switch. Less is more, only do what needs to be done. So if I done, had done that, I didn't want to, you know, it could, could have possibly damaged the switch and I didn't want to have to put another switch in and charge the customer more money, so I just left it alone. So I changed the electrolytic, changed the zener diode, now it has the proper amount of static plate current, changed the diode down here. Um, you can see the new filter cap assembly, you know, Harbaugh kit. Added the strap for the parasitic uh, stability modification. Clean the input rotary switch with deox gold, output rotary switch with deox gold, grounded the grid connections, um, you know, the socket grid connection points. 
each one to the chassis, change the SO239 to the self bias modification. Had a resistor in series with the key line for some reason. I took that out. That wasn't stock. Um, here's the old socket. It just the uh, cathode connections, the film connections were toasty. I didn't want to take a chance. I had another factory socket here. Um, these are not like regular Johnson sockets. These were, I believe, made by Kenwood. So um, I think that's about it. So if you need any amp repair, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com, also hardbockelectronics.com. Now I have to go to the post office and go pick amps up at FedEx. Fun, fun. I haven't shipped the Harbach orders yet. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Dad, I always clean these switches behind the uh, front panel. Because sometimes the uh, multimeter switch won't work you know if you put it to one function the meter will stop working so we just squirt a little bit of deoxycold in there and then it's good hey right, well have a good weekend 73